I'm Catherine Rocha, and I'm going to be telling you all 10 more things that I'm now slightly less entry level, so I want you all to do. Um, so here's the recap of the original 10 that I showed at CPPCon last fall. Um, so now I'm just kind of moving forward. Here's number 10, since we started at zero. Um, so first, link us into everything. So share some of those meeting invites, those socials, and increase the team cohesion. Um, it also like reduces all the isolation that you can have between different team members, um, and it increases the visibility as you don't have people getting hidden beneath other people. Okay, 11, share those cool opportunities. This one kind of sucks because it involves like not being able to go to everything that you may want to go to, but it also reduces the ability to have single points of failure if you can't make it to something, and it makes everyone feel valued. It also gives you the time to catch up on all the other things that you have to do if you don't get the opportunity to go. So it's kind of a pro and a con. 12. Um, this is be the mentor that you wish you had. So kind of like looking back at like back when you were there, like what are some of the things that you would have wanted? And for me, since I'm kind of at that point, the things that I like is that honesty and vulnerability as well as like how you got to where you're at because all of us kind of took a different route to get there. So hearing about it makes it really helpful. Um, and then also caring more about us than and like more about things than just work. So like I have two dogs. So like talking about things like that, those aren't just the like programming things or the work things, but are really helpful. 13, it's having those rough conversations. So this is the stuff that like you don't really want to talk about in industry or at your job. And the things like, is this the right path for you? Is this the right job? But it can be really beneficial because a lot of companies have a lot of different areas that you can move into. So if you find that right area, it's better for the company and better for the person. So having some of those conversations is really better overall long term. 14, um, is encouraging us to keep learning. So this is like going to conferences, watching conference talks, as well as like local meetups. And then another interesting thing is code exploration. So if there's a part of the code that like I've been touched talking about it and being like, oh, maybe spend 15 minutes figuring out how this thing works or like if we could do something better with it is something that can be really valuable and kind of help all of us learn a little bit more. 15, encourage professional growth. So this is like teaching, speaking, um, doing something maybe internal or external, as well as getting those goal planning and feedback and doing some of the networking. 16, um, expect us to question things and actually encourage it. Um, we have a different perspective that you may not have as it's the first time we may have touched like a different API or something like that. Um, and it also helps strengthen your own professional growth because you get to figure out how you have to explain this to someone who may not have seen that code before. So that's something that you're gonna have to explain. Um, and it also removes a bunch of the just because of like you enter a piece of code and it's like, we did this because we did this before. So now it's no longer something that you get to do because you have to figure out how to explain it. 17. Um, it's don't have all the answers and also don't let us have all the answers because sometimes we all think we have all the answers and that's not always the case. So kind of have that conversation um, and still figure out the why. Um, and one cool way to do that is like we all use Stack Overflow. So maybe ask one of your like entry level engineers the question that you're thinking of before going to Stack Overflow because that kind of creates some of those different conversations about like, is this the best way to do it? Is it not? And maybe faster than Stack Overflow. 18 is learn current practices with us. So we're going to be reviewing like design patterns, C++ features, you know, Google something kind of go into that rabbit hole. And that's something that we can talk about. And it's a refresher for you as much as it's something that we're going to learn from. So that's a really good talking point, And it's something that's going to like help both of us and make it a lot better. And then 19. Ask us questions too. It helps make us feel really valuable or really valued. And it also, we both learn from it. So like if you ask us questions, this may trigger the like basic answer that like you, like the answer that you couldn't find and you could spend two hours on the internet or someone else goes, what do you mean by that? And you explain it enough and you're like, oh, this was really obvious. So yeah, that's it. <laughs>